we go through a constant, you know, almost Sisyphusian effort of having to educate people about, you know, the, the level of talent we have here locally in Pittsburgh. I mean, we sell to the Bay Area and to Massachusetts and to other parts of the world as well. And, but I mean, those are markets people think of as robotics hubs, right? So that's why I'm mentioning those. And I mean, you have to bring up CMU. You have to mention, you know, the strong presence of the Pittsburgh Robotics Network, the PRN that we've been talking about. Um, you know, you mentioned companies like Seagrid that you worked for, you know, that are doing amazing stuff that, you know, was groundbreaking. I mean, and, and still is in, in many ways. And I mean, you're right. <laughs> People don't always realize it, but it's true. I mean, you know, we're well, doing yeah, another another inspiration. What I'm doing is, is when I was help working with Tom Galuzzo and raising our Series A, I spent a lot of time in the Bay Area uh, to close that round. And I was at a networking event and I was giving, you know, your elevator pitch. And, you know, I would get a good response and there'd be some interest and, and invariably the next question would be, well, where are you located? And, you know, I would answer Pittsburgh and I'd get a little bit of a quizzical look. You know, <laughs> and I knew it was coming, so I, I, I immediately responded and said, well, you know, Carnegie Mellon is located oh, in Jesus. Pittsburgh. Yeah. And then there. there would be that, that, that association. They're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So I, I would sometimes joke afterwards that, you know, what we could do to help raise um, the awareness and, and make it easier to raise capital in Pittsburgh is rename the city Carnegie Mellon. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious, actually. Yeah. I've been to the Bay Area as well a decent amount. I disagree amount. with that, but, you know, but, and so that's another thing that's driving the PRN. It's one of the big things that we're doing is, is actually declaring ourselves the leader that we are um, and going, you know, you know, uh, going through, uh, pursuing visibility initiatives and promotional initiatives so we can, um, you know, answer that question, why Pittsburgh? And I, and I put it this way, Spencer, is, is that if a friend of yours um, got a job offer and took a job in Austin. Anybody sure. across the country would say, that's amazing. That's a great place to be in tech, right? Yeah, clearly I mean, you're reading my bottle of whiskey here that says Texas on see? it. <laughs> yeah. See? So, you know, you would never question someone that was taking a job in tech in Austin, right? I know there might be some reasons, but but if, if, if somebody was around the country um, saying that I just got a job offer in Pittsburgh to work in robotics, um, they would have that same experience. Well, why Pittsburgh? Not if they're in the and, know, but a layperson for sure, I think, would, would have that. I, I, think it's, I think it's really just a couple of degrees of separation from in the know. It, I, I'm not talking about my mother or my grandmother, right? I mean, I'm really talking about, I, I, here I am talking to an investor um, who, who is, has an interest and an investment you know, profile in robotics, and they didn't necessarily know why we were located there. That's so, a problem. 